Right, how's it going everyone? So, today I'm going to be doing a bit of a sensor cleanup as well as maybe some minor uh, camera cleaning. Uh, now, originally, normally what I do is for my camera sensor here, so if I were to, if I just open up this lens cap, body cap I should say, um, and hopefully you may not be able to see it clearly in the light here, but um, just in the sensor there, I've actually picked up a little bit of dust um, inside the sensor just from a recent uh, sports event doing a mud run and somehow the dust managed to get onto the sensor. Normally I would use something like this uh, lens blower, so hopefully that's in frame there, so just see if I can focus it. Lots of focus. There we go. So normally I use a lens blower like this, or I've got the right here that goes into focus is the uh, Nightcore Blower Baby and by changing this filter here I can attach on this for the sensor cleaning if I want to attach on like so bear with me for a moment it's a bit fidgety there we go so nicely locks into place and it's nicely charged so normally I would try and blow the dust out like so it, yeah. so normally the dust should come off just like that however this dust uh, in here which I could still see it uh, is not coming off even with either of them so just check on that body cap again which is why I've gone out and bought a dedicated lens cleaning uh, swap by the brand uh, VS Go, if I've got that right. So VS Go right here. Keep in mind, this uh, travel cleaning kit does not have uh, cleaning swabs or uh, the dedicated sensor cleaning liquid. And am I in focus again? Having to double check with pet with the Panasonic, okay. Yeah. So this is what I'm gonna to use to clean my camera's sensor. So inside the box here, there's only really two things. So there's, so I have quite a few clean, cleaning swaps. So one, two, three, four, five, six and just over here and double check in that cool so nothing else in there and this is what you'll use to attach on to the swabs to clean the sensor so this is the um this is basically a moisturizer i won't say a moisturizer but just a cleaning tool now luckily this uh just behind the box here, there are instructions on it. So you can, if you want to do it yourself, you can. But I will warn you that you are putting your camera at risk when cleaning the sensor. So be very, very careful when cleaning the sensor. Otherwise, you will potentially damage the entire camera and you'll need to take it to a camera store or someone who can actually repair it. So basically you'll be spending a shitload of money yeah. <clears throat> right, so what we need to do for starters is you need to obviously take off the body cap. And as you can see, there is still a lit. You might, I'm not too sure if you can see it on the camera here. But there's still a little bit of dirt there, so I need to be very careful when I put this back on. But I'm also going to make sure I just clean the the back here, make sure there's no dust, no debris inside the body cap. Um, 
Make sure that's in focus again. Yep. So I'll just need to make sure that there's no dust or anything inside that body cap. So I'll put that aside. And again, we've already given a good little brush with the, the nail blower. Now, I'll see if I could rotate the camera much closer to the light. Just the tripod, like so. And then, all the way. So hopefully, you might get a better view of it when I'm cleaning. Okay, all right. So, First things first, you want to carefully take out the swab. Make sure your hands are nice and clean, or if you've got um, like a fiber, like microfiber gloves or cloth or something like that, just basically you don't want any dirt or any. Is that focusing? This. Oh, anyway, so you want to make sure that there's no dirt or dust on the swab here. Might even set this onto manual focus. So let's look again. Actually, yep. Yeah. So I'll just bring it up to where the camera is. Next, you want to carefully apply this on. Don't need too much anyway you just need at least two drops so what i try to do is i will carefully try and get the corners so hopefully that's a cap Probably a good idea to remove the cap there. Yep. So now I've got that fully open. So now you just want to be very, very gentle. So you want to, you don't want to add a, too much in. You just want to add a small drop at least. So there we go. So I'm just going to gently touch it. It's a very delicate procedure. There we go, and a little bit more onto the, that side. There we go. So now the swab is nicely moistened, and I'll just gently move my fingers aside. Then all you need to do is carefully, basically just like a window you just want to gently move it from one side to another. So just making sure got the right position. Yep. And gently move it from one side and gently do again. And then bring it back. that mm -hmm. and make sure let it sink in there we go so now the sensor is clean and what I'm gonna do is I'll just put the camera over there just for a moment as I bring out a it's gonna bring out a microfiber cloth So, see that? Yeah, yeah, there we are, that should do it. Just gonna give it a nice little spray. Like that. 
I'm just gonna just clean down the just clean the inside of the body cap. Get all around the corners. Also try and make sure I get a bit of the outside as well. I've uh, also got like a toothbrush here which I generally use for cleaning. Just make sure that's safely out of the way so it's not going to get any other debris on. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of that on. I'm just going to give it a quick brush. side as well. I'll just wipe it down, clean it off, inspect, it looks pretty, looks pretty okay. Just make sure there's no, yep, so it's nice and clean. Now, Simply, there we go. And that's basically the procedure. So that's, so that's how you clean up a sensor, um, or at least doing a wet clean for a sensor. Unfortunately, at this point, um, since this uh, swab has already been used, you better to get rid of this because you're ideally you're not supposed to be reusing these which is a bit unfortunate um, to zoom back out again like so I'll put it back to autofocus yeah all right that's pretty much it so that's how to clean a sensor with um with some cleaning swabs and a and a dedicated camera sensor cleaning sensor cleaner fluid but yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video here be sure to subscribe to my youtube and also check me out on tiktok at uh, pros forever feel free to check out my website at www.patrickrose.co.nz to check out more of my photos and other content there and i'll see you guys in a future video. Stay safe out there and happy shooting.